Good day, tryhards. Hello to everybody watching. Today, guys, I am bringing you a video about yours truly, Ken Pachi Zaraki, guys. He is the 11th squad captain, and uh, um, he's, excuse me, he's the 11th squad captain of the Gote 13 from Bleach. Yeah, he's one of the best captains there, one of the strongest ones there. And I'm not about to try to keep you guys too long. I'm not about to make this video super long and tell you everything about the character. But I do want to give you guys, like I did with the game video, just some just some things about the character. You know, some, some fun facts about the character as I do lightly explore. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to point out is that, or the first fun fact, is that Kenpachi's scar was given to him when he was just a child by Retsu Unahana. And again, if you guys don't know who Retsu is, she is also another one of the captains of the Gold Take 13 uh, currently. And again, I'm not gonna try to give out too many spoilers or I'm not gonna try and you know, give you guys too much, but just know that she is the one who actually originally gave Kenpachi his scar uh, way back when. Yeah, she gave him the scar, man. It, you know, and it was just one of those really, really good story moments where it was like, you know, who's this kid? This kid's super strong. And, you know, we need to really figure out what's going on. And then here comes Luna Han and she rolls up like, all right, I'm about to take care of this. And then they have like a little scuffle when, you know, does some of the stomping grounds of Kenpachi's uh, story. So like, if you guys ever wonder, like, why does he have that scar on his face? one of the actual captains that he is still uh, with um, or was with um, actually gave from that scar so I think that I think that's pretty cool because that, that again that gets his character some depth as far as how he uh, connects uh, with other characters you know his relationship with other characters and the second point that I want to point out to you good people is that despite Kenpachi's lust for battle if you are too weak or severely injured in the battle with him he will let you live or go and I want to uh, I want to be clear it doesn't even necessarily have to be with him right because people look at Kenpachi like he's a berserker he's crazy he doesn't think he doesn't have any intelligence but the character is a lot smarter than what you think and he gives a lot more thought into some things because he likes He's like Goku, right? He's like the heart of the battle, the best moments of the battle. Everyone trying their all and giving what they have, like and putting it all on the line. But if he sees you beforehand as being too weak, or if you two actually get into a fight and you um and you just become severely injured and you know and practically dead, he'll just be like, you know, the fight's done now. You know what I mean? Like it's over now. He'll actually let you live. He, he's shown on multiple times to do this, like one when he fought Nina Tor. Uh, you know, he pretty much had the guy beat, did the rights, and the tour just wasn't happy. So Kipachi cut him down, like, all right, I'm going to kill you now because now you're pushing. Because he was like, dude, you're too, I don't want to fight you. Another example would be, you know, if Kipachi was such a crazy berserker and all he wanted to do was fight, think about all of the characters in the show, right? Like, these characters are pretty strong when you think about it, right? But, you know, he, he doesn't see them that way as being anywhere near relevant to his strength. So, he doesn't even care to fight him, you know, and you have to actually put in some kind of thought to be like, all right, you know, you're too weak, I don't want to fight you, you're too weak, I don't want to fight you, as opposed to being like, okay, I'm just going to blitz everybody. Like, nah, he's like, you know, he actually generally wants a challenge. And again, we're talking about adding depth to a good character. Kenpachi has that. Third fact I'm going to point out is that Kenpachi still wants a rematch with Ichigo. I do think that this is one of the charming things and funny things about the character because it's um you yeah, when you first see him like you know you're you're I don't see your initial impression but when he gets to the point where he's fighting Ichigo you do get that like um like I say he's a berserker he's raging he's more crazy he doesn't make any sense but then you know after that point you get to see more of the character you get to see what he's really about and like I said once you figure out that he really just has this that he really just has this lust for battle. It's funny because like, you know, he shows it in different ways. And one of those ways is with Ichigo, man. He's like, dog, like, nah, you know what I'm saying? There was a good fight the first time, but we need that rematch. And like, that's like a reoccurring thing. It, it reoccurs enough of the time for you to really realize that, okay, you know, Kenpachi really does want to rematch with Ichigo, you know what I mean? And it's not the biggest thing to point out. It's not like, oh, you know, it's like a, a um, uh, you know, like 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 a character breaking fact, anything like that. It's just one of those good things that 
you'd like to see in characters. Because like I said, it, make, it makes the character kind of charming, right? Like every time you see the main character, you trying to scrap with him. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a pretty funny uh, treat that I think that um, that this character has. Here is one of those facts that I like to think is a little bit of heat, it's a little bit of sauce. So this one goes after one day of training. Ken, after one day of training, Kendo Central 46 ordered Captain Yamamoto to put a stop to Kenpachi's training because they feared um, Kenpachi's strength. They literally, after one day of teaching this man how to fight, um, how how to fight as an actual swordsman, because Kenpachi's more so like I said, he's a berserker. He just raided. He just he's a brawler. That's the one I want to use. He's a brawler. Uh, he actually, once he became a captain, he, you know, he had to go through some type of training, right? Like, you actually got to be better, right? You know, you're in the captain position, so we're going to actually kind of try to get you up to par. You know, you're rough around the edges and you're talented, but let's try and get you on par with some of these other captains, you know, even though you're still, even though your potential is still so high. Again, the reason why I think this is a, a fun fact to point out about Kenpachi, because you know, he really is just one of those fan favorite characters because of just his raw and immense power. You know what I mean? Like the things that, the things that once he becomes aware of what he's truly capable of, he becomes one of the most unstoppable characters in anime history. You know what I mean? He literally is one of those characters. So, you know, that that fact is pretty interesting because they, you know, they they realize that they like, bro, this character's like, you know, they said this guy he's already. His strength is already unfathomable, right? He, you know, he, he got to this, he got to this level, you know, with very, very, well, with ease, pretty much. He got to the point where he is now with relative ease. So we're gonna give this guy some, uh, some structure and actually help him become more potent than what he already is. We may be setting ourselves up for destruction. So you may have to get Central Forty Six just maybe a few points for that one, though, because they definitely had uh, a storm incoming with a trained. Kipachi, this one, people, this one may actually be one of my favorite facts, and it's also the last one, the last fun fact of this uh, video, and that's, um, he has immeasurable spiritual pressure slash unruly reishi control, dog, like, you know, it, it's one of those things where even in the show, it's hard to fathom how powerful this character is, man, I mean, like, he... And here, here are some bonus facts that I'll throw in now that we are kind of, you know, help me out with this fifth point about him having immeasurable power and unruly spiritual pressure control, or rather unruly ratio control. Um, he, he th this guy, he beats someone who basically has the power of imagination. And I don't even want to go too deep into that, but just know, he beats someone with the power of imagination. The guy could imagine anything. And he, and he beat this guy, okay? That's, that's one of the fun facts. Another one of the fun facts, and I think this is only the second one I have, which is okay, but this is a good fun fact because it goes with his immeasurable spiritual pressure, and that's that the previous uh, captain of the squad that he's the captain of now, the previous guy, now, you guys know Bleach that you guys know these captains are really, really, really strong. Like, there are no slouches whatsoever. He one-shot the guy, bro, in front of 200 squad members, bro. The previous Kenpachi, the previous captain, and another thing for y'all, Kenpachi is a title, okay? Kenpachi isn't his, it's his name, but it's a title. So anybody can be a Kenpachi, no, not anybody, but people can have the name of Kenpachi, right? Like, you no, know, someone else can have that name, then, you know, a, a fighter would have to come and take it. He one-shot the previous Kenpachi, who was a captain. He one-shot this guy. So again, immeasurable spiritual uh, pressure and, you know, um, unruly reishi control. I mean, every time he takes off this eye patch in the show, you just get the cinematic, bro. It, it just goes crazy. Immeasurable, just literally immeasurable. Like even Ichigo said it at one point in time. Ichigo was like, man, every time he takes this eye patch off, like I've seen it happen a bunch of times, I'm still impressed, you know? And he, again, he, he just one of those characters where it's like, you know, I don't want to say hit or miss, but he's definitely, you know, he has that Trump card vibe on him, you know? One of the reasons why you will watch it that he was one of the top five war potentials. So guys, that was um, five fun facts about Kenpachi and just a little bit of exploring. Happy to be getting back to the videos. And I'm also going to be happy to be uploading and showing you guys some more uh, fun facts and more exploring uh, some of these other Bleach characters because I'm excited that it's coming back. I'm pretty sure you guys are too. And on that note, be cool, be calm, watch Bleach.
get to potential. 